Well, the Fortress of Delevrelath. Of the Crimson Handles, a fine dwarven military installation in the north of the continent of Yawning. We've been beset by a horde of goblins and beak dogs due to our exploits recently, fighting them in their main city here of ransack rags, a den of scum and filth, and their local villages that we've recently been raiding to drive them away from our dwarven lands and our continent here, and back to the west where they belong with their elven and human allies. Our most recent attack of their essentially local capital resulted in a great many dead goblins and elves and humans filth working with the enemy and no losses to our own fine dwarven military due to our excellent training and forethought. However, they have arrived and they claim that they want to parlay with us and discuss terms uh, that will not be happening today. Two arms dwarves and to the walls. Our crossbowmen will need to take to the uh, walls here to defend against any any invaders that do not enter the trap room, which we're going to now open the door to down here beneath our fortress, safe behind our walls. This trap room is the reason that I made this video. It's very simple to do. Any new player or medium player can do it, as long as you have a good industry of creating metal. And now here they come. They uh. They've gotten our message. We will not negotiate with with goblin scum, goblin filth, the lowest order of creatures on this planet. Um, about a hundred of them arrived with their their filthy beak dogs, and there very very few of them will survive this encounter with Dela Relath. The trap room is built mainly of weapon traps with ten giant iron axe blades in them. And it's very simple to make these if you have a lot of metal um, and good mechanics, but the reason I made the video is to show you a simple way that you can increase the effectiveness of this trap to just completely annihilate huge hordes of goblins, elves, uh, more elves, and uh, if you ever piss off humans, this is a good way to get rid of them too. And your, your uh, military, of course, dwarves cannot be defeated, so you're, I'm sure that you'll have no problem facing them one-on-one, -on -one, but allowing your machines to do the work for you is very, very satisfying. So we're speeding through the attack here as they cross our, our, uh, our river bridge and approach the trap room. Our crossbow dwarves doing their work, weakening them and trying to catch any uh, any stragglers. And here they go. The first few begin to enter, and basically it rips them to shreds. Oh. Now this is the part that I really like. <laughs> Of course, we're killing scores of goblins, but eventually they're going to figure out that their bodies alone are, are they're not going to be able to clog this machine. So we pull the inner or the uh, trap door entrance lever and they are now trapped inside and the their comrades run. They know the jig is up. And this is why the crossbowmen are nice, is that we'll get some parting insults off. Some shots to uh, to remind them never to return to this place. And all of the the uh, base of the, the, the most, the bulk of the main attack is now stuck in this room, being shredded with no way out. And that is why you do not mess with dwarves. The amazing thing about this is that normally if they can run, a large portion of a goblin siege will try to uh, will try to fall back once they've taken significant casualties. But if you can block their escape and, and basically just industrial industrial blender them, then uh, you don't have as many problems down the road. Fewer goblins means fewer problems, as we all know. And uh, we'll just bask in this victory here for a moment. It's 
So back on the surface, the big dogs are gone. The many of the goblins have been caught in cage traps. Um, a great way to create target practice for your dwarves. A few big dogs leaving the map here. But uh, now we can order the military to stand down and enjoy the uh, goblinite we've received and begin to clean up. Still so much, so much carnage in this room. It's unbelievable, but yeah, let's stand down. And, uh... Fortress has been here for, uh, I believe... Well, it started in year 100, so five years. Still plenty of ammo for our crossbow dwarves. And uh, they're back to training. And there's our pet Colossus that we captured in a cage trap last year. Well, thank you for watching. Enjoy building your own goblin blenders.